what's going on move the mouse here back in city skylines the town of rocktail let's play number 17 and we are on our way to 90,000. that's our next milestone i'm hoping that we hit it this episode that's when we unlock uh, monuments our last area and the international airport so we've got a lot of different things that we could be working on one of the things that we definitely need to focus on is keeping an eye on our demand meters and right now we have a lot of commercial demand so i was going to use this area over here to start just because it's already built out and uh, i'm going to do some high density commercial along this block hopefully stuff will start to move in it should get powered and we'll just double check our water um so we did already water that in in plans for potentially i think making a what I think I'm going to do low density residential here. I might actually smooth this out just a little bit because this is a little crazy. Um, I might already be too late since some of the businesses are already starting to move in. Let's uh, let's break out the landscape tool. See what we've got for room for dirt. We have no room for dirt. So we'll come over here and already I think I'm going to time lapse this because we don't necessarily need to uh, to watch me slowly build this mountain up. You can see I've been slowly building up this side of the map with all our excess dirt so let's we'll do uh yeah we'll just do general raising of the terrain here actually no i'm gonna do level i take it back so let me do this real quick and uh and time lapse this and we'll be right back we'll get some room for some dirt okay so we got rid of all of our dirt now so we can start to lower this terrain a bit and let's aim over here and kind of do the same thing. We will knock this down a bit. Little hilly is okay, but we don't want it too, uh, too tall. We've almost created a little valley there. That's a nice little depression for a uh, for a suburb there. We'll come back to that in one moment. Um, so that's one thing that I want to do is continue to meet uh, our demands. We've got a, a residential area up to the northeast. The other thing that I kind of wanted to do this episode is, and I didn't really plan for this when I was dropping the uh, the uh, the shipping in. Maybe we could wait till we buy this tile, but I want to get the uh, kind of the cruise ships in to bring tourists in and out. And I don't really have, I, I'm going to have to kind of rework this road network or maybe move it over here a little bit closer um, to where that, that river outlet is. Let's, let's wait on that. We'll wait on that. We'll continue to, uh, to meet our demands here. We'll empty this dump since it's full. It's not really doing anything for us in the meantime. Do the same thing over here. And we need some growth here. We need people to keep moving in. We've got all this zoned out for residential, which is good. I did want to redo this street. Because I want to give another avenue into this area. Because right now everything here is funneling in through this little two-way street. I thought at the very least we could connect down to this diagonal here. But let's do that. We're going to overwrite a couple buildings in the process, but it should let me go right into the train tracks there. And that's just another way into this area from the main city. The other thing we can do is over here. And if we want this to keep building out, we could knock out some of this highway and do a new three-way intersection here. It should be far enough from that three-way. Let's see. What our traffic looks like a lot of traffic coming from industry and from off the map over there this is where it all started right here this little triangle coming off the highway we built up these neighborhoods first and this section and just exploded everywhere but i want to give this area kind of its own little um outlet to the highway so let's pause it for a minute let's see what kind of space this is going to take up Rotate this around. It keeps wanting to snap. 
So if we zoom out a little bit, if we go to the end of the barrier... Okay, we'll want to delete... Go down here to be safe. That should be enough room. Let's see if that's enough room for us to snap in here. That looks pretty good. We'll do that. We will reconnect our highway up and then we can start to build a little bit of an area there. And again, it's just about providing another option for for people to get in and off the highway there into that neighborhood. Because I don't want... I don't want that to be the only way in and out if we're going to make it a larger residential area. We don't need highway here, though, so we'll switch that off. Maybe we'll even do our little 45 degree trick here, too. So we'll switch to our two way, one way roads. And now we can build out that space a bit. Um, what we'll do here is let's go to like the medium road with the trees. Or the large avenues with grass. If we didn't have a cemetery there, I could say we could connect that up too. But we want to funnel traffic out to the highway because this isn't being used right now. So we'll see. Hopefully this can support lots and lots of traffic. We'll switch back over to our two lanes and maybe just to make this part of the town a little bit different. We'll do two lanes with trees. Can I come down three? I can't come down three. We'll come down. See if it'll let me snap right. It wants to hook onto other things, unfortunately. So that'll be good enough. Maybe we'll do like a 45 degree angle here and come out this way. And then hook those two up. Just to make it a little different. That's already a four-way intersection, so let's not split off of there again. We can wrap this around this way. Let's see how this looks. I don't know if this is um, if I'm gonna keep this. It might be too much with all the trees everywhere. I think it is too much with the trees everywhere. Let's switch those to grass, maybe. Let's see what grass looks like if we upgrade these roads. That does get rid of the parking lane. But it's got kind of a nice look. We'll get rid of this 45 degree angle. There's just too much going on in this intersection here. This is coming back onto the highway. I need to uh, reverse that direction. I'm not following my basic design principles here, so let's get rid of that. Let's not have these intersections right here at this... Um, at this 45. We'll come off the middle. Sorry, I'm going to undo what I just did. Because <clears throat> I realized I'm, I'm ignoring my own... my own design suggestions here. Because that is going to be a traffic nightmare. So we'll come off the middle of that street with a... Uh, a grass line street. Going to be a tiny little bit off-center either way. So we'll go from there. We come down three or so. And we'll build some neighborhoods off of that. We'll come over, can we get two? We can get two in. We'll just build some neighborhoods out back here. Space things out a little bit. We don't want to get 
So I don't want to get right on top of the highway there. We can do some sound barriers to reduce some of the noise pollution there. Same thing with the train tracks there. We don't want to get too close to the train if we can avoid it. But I think some people are just going to have to deal with it. Or maybe we won't zone this part. We'll plant trees on this side of the street. For a little sound barrier. Now this... This traffic coming in here. Two lane road to two lane road. This is kind of the main avenue that's going to connect a lot of the traffic. So I think if we did this, coming back to here, that should support some decent traffic. And then we can do a couple roads off of that. Again, this is just to meet some residential demand that I'm hoping we will have pretty soon. Let's uh, let's hit the play button and see what we get. We don't want too many four-way intersections, but this should be okay over here. I th I'm I'm thinking I could be wrong. We might change it. We can always give these side street stop signs. So if we, if you remember, we go over to the inspector tool, we can go to intersections, and then we can say, let's have these side streets stop, because that shouldn't cause a lot of traffic, and then that should keep the main avenue flowing nicely. At some point, I do have to go around my city and, and really kind of look at um, what's happening with the, um, the intersections and the lights. We'll keep this kind of, uh, what do we want to do, low density off the highway here? more low density from over there we can always move that cemetery like i said later and and connect this up just to provide some more routes but we'll see kind of what's happening on the traffic front we'll do this and then if you remember let's see if it'll let me connect a little loop here i may have to go kind of almost all the way on to the uh the on-ramp here to do it well let me do that so yeah, so that way if you're in town and you want to get to this business, you don't have to go on the highway to get back in. You can just loop right back around. Same thing with emergency services, which speaking of, let's take a look at our coverage over here. So if we throw some stuff here, that covers everything pretty well. We'll do a little cemetery on this. Can we do it? Can we put it right there? Perfect. Perfect size right there a crematorium across the street. Do a fire department and uh, police station over here. And we'll cram some schools in. And we'll do an elementary and a high school for now. You know, I haven't looked at how is our university availability. Our university availability is great. We have one in the big circular city, one in kind of the uh, central downtown Kent Park. And then we threw one way down here on the south side just to kind of spread out the coverage a bit. So that's good. Let's get water and... You know what? Before, before we lose people's interest potentially moving in here, let's zone all this off. Some residential low density over here. I think I'm going to do... Do I want to do this part by the trains? I don't know. I think we might just plant trees here. So we'll do all the interior zones as options for residential. And that should be good there. We won't... That's a little close, but we won't go and do that part. We'll zone off all these. Again, it's some low density. There's one little pocket of... There we go. So that's pretty good. Let's get water before people complain.
And we can continue, we can continue this one out here. That should cover all that. And then let's just get power over there. We could just do this for now. It'll eat up some of our zoning, but it should pass the power all the way through that zone as a result. And then as soon as we have some businesses or, or houses rather move in over here, um, in fact, if we just get one or two right there, that should allow us to delete those power lines and, and rezone all that stuff. So we're at 88,000. We're getting close. We're getting very close. Um, we've got this reconnected. We've got this little hilltop. I think this is going to be kind of low density suburbs as well, too. We could have this extend out a little bit, this four way avenue, and do some more commercial or office space even over here just to keep things spread out a bit. So that was four lanes with trees. Let's take that out this way. We'll bring it way out. Let's see. Where do we want to bring it to? Maybe like right about there. And then we can do like maybe an office park down here towards the highway because again they don't care as much about the noise do we do we did grass lined over all that but for the sake of having uh, a parking lane we'll do regular streets here we'll do these about as far out as it will let us without overriding any other zones that's close enough to the highway good enough for now and then we'll come out to here and connect that up. And then let's see, can we go right in the middle here? A little bit of dead space. And let's zone that off in industrial, or rather, I'm sorry, not industrial, in office space, which will meet our industrial needs. Maybe even have some offices right there too. So where can we do a little bit more commercial that isn't already bombarded with commercial? You know what, let's do this as in commercial for right now. All of our zoning's pretty well met. We're climbing slowly but surely towards that 90,000 mark. Um, we could let that run for a minute. Let's see what's happening over here. This This spot is just a bad spot for businesses right there whatever reason like the building next door didn't have enough customers and went out of business and that one now too we could expand this suburb out a little bit so this is kind of the the secondary road we could build off of that bring up a couple more neighborhoods back there We also could continue to build off this side. This is a good little spot that is open and will open up even more once we have uh, that last tile over there that I want to purchase. This is kind of ripe for building though. And we already flattened it out a bit, so maybe we'll do that next. Um, let's see how close our office park is. We have a ton of office space over here. I want to spread out that office a little bit. But we've got a lot in kind of every population center, but but they want more, so I wish they would move in over here. That would be great. For whatever reason, they don't want to. Let's uh, give them some incentive and reduce the noise over here. We'll break out the... What's it called? The uh, highway with sound barrier. And let's upgrade all the highway that we can... What? Am I on change direction? I am. So we'll upgrade all this to uh, Sound Barrier Highway to keep some of that noise from spreading off the highway. How far to the edge of the map? We'll just do to the edge of the map. Just because. And it won't let me go any further than that. I did not mean to do that. Let's see if it'll let me downgrade that.
There we go. We've got some offices moving in. I'm going to blame it on the sound barriers. But it probably wasn't. But it's a timing thing. In fact, let me... I just realized I'm on the slowest speed, so I'll hold the stick in to speed that up. Realize, too, we don't have direct dump coverage over here, so let's... Let's make that possible with a little back road hack here. Can we connect right to there? That would be nice if we could. Do that and then let's just dezone all this stuff here. We don't necessarily need that to be zoned off. This could be a little bypass road. Hopefully, only really going to get used by the dump trucks. I can't see anything else really needing to use that. Eighty-eight five. Let's go in and uh, while we're waiting, let's take a look at the rest of our city. We'll do a quick pass on abandoned buildings. We'll do a quick look at traffic and see uh, what intersections we're probably going to need to look at next. A tiny little, tiny little building on the corner. Just couldn't make their business work. It's tough for small businesses in Rockdale. It's a, it's a big booming metropolis, you know? Let's uh, let's break out our info views. And traffic's one of the biggest things to keep an eye on. Um, it's one of the things that will slow your growth. People will be unhappy. It causes noise pollution, makes it so emergency services can't get around. This is particularly problematic right here. This is really problematic. And everybody wants to be in that one lane for whatever reason. They're all going that way. So we don't really have traffic backed up on the other three roads that badly. So let's break out our uh, inspector tool. Go to intersections. We'll take off this stoplight and we'll make everybody else stop. And we'll give the right away to these people, at least for the time being. That uh, kind of a mess, but hopefully it will speed things up. We'll see. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it doesn't. We could also look at funneling some, some one-way traffic here. Like, if you look, I mean, there's not a lot happening here. It's not too bad. Um, and we could potentially do, I think what I did over here somewhere. These are one-ways, right? So, all this traffic coming south. Look at all that traffic lined up in that one lane. Because there's no incentive for them. They, they get into the lane that they're going to need to get into unless there's another reason not to be in that lane first and let me show you what i mean up here like the cars tend to stick to the middle here they've got three choices and if they're not getting off at one of the next exits then they tend to stick to that middle lane but as soon as one of the next roads up ahead is appropriate for them they immediately jump over so you'll see that they ride in the straight lane in the center lane i'm sorry until they're about to get off the highway at the next intersection so once they pass a set of intersections that doesn't apply to them, they then kind of repath themselves and decide to go into another lane. Um, so we could do a little work on that and try and figure out where people are going and, and give them better paths. The other thing is um, we haven't really done, if I recall, any bus routes down here to the south. So um, let's look at that for a minute. We'll go to our bus tabs, we'll go to bus lines. And it shows you all lines, so it shows you like where the metro stuff is. I don't have any bus routes though, like so I could have some bus routes down, especially down these really long corridors. Sorry if these are, are kind of boring aesthetically. Um, they kind of work. Makes things easy when it's in a big grid. Doesn't necessarily make it the most um, visually appealing thing, but we don't have any bus routes on these main uh, roads down the uh, the south side of the city. So if you look here, kind of what, what's happening in the original 
uh, first part of the town that we built is we've got metro loops running around the outside, we've got train loops running around the outside, and then we've got bus routes running east to west. We don't have any north to south uh, bus routes though, so you can see like kind of where there's a gap in in public transport, that's also where there's some of the most traffic piling up is in these roads that go north to south. There's no reason for, you know, if you're if you're up here and trying to get south, there's no easy immediate, you know, metro or bus line. So maybe we could look at doing bus lines north to south on some of these uh, main roads and that might help clean things up a little bit. And then we definitely need to do that down here as well too, because we just don't have any uh, any bus roads. So let's do a couple of these. And we'll, you know what we'll do is we'll, if we get out of this view for a minute, we've got these, these nine blocks, right? Each nine block section I was calling a neighborhood. And then we stamp that out six times. And, and that becomes that kind of larger structure. Um, how's my math? 54, right? 54 blocks. Uh, nine times six. Yeah. <laughs> so... What we could do is come down one side and then back up the other. And I know right when I get finished this. As soon as I finish this, it's going to, uh, or right before I finish this, I should say, it's going to jump us to that 90,000 population. So every couple blocks, I'm going to do a bus stop. We'll put one, uh, let's see. Can we add a stop where there's already a stop? We can, and then we'll close off that line. So that gives people just an easier way to navigate north to south as well too. We could do that around the center block around uh, the Ken Park St Central Station, and then we could do that over here too. Uh, let's do that real quick. Just to give people some, some more options for getting around town. Eighty-nine thousand seven hundred. Let's see. Where's my last two that I want to do? Is right, right here in the middle of these. So, put a bus stop right next to the metro. It's always a good idea. because people will jump from mass transit to mass transit. And now, so we've got some bus routes there. It'll take some time for the, the AI to, to figure out that they're there, because if they're already on route, they're gonna stay on route. Um, but hopefully in the long run, that will help some of our uh, traffic problems up there. We'll have to come and revisit that. We'll do the same thing down here. We'll do some bus routes down here, and I'll do a couple. I'll definitely do an east to west on this main road through the center of the city that gets off at that diamond interchange. We don't really as much have a cross... We do have a cross town route here with that tunnel. If we have two tunnels there, we could kind of snake in and out of there and do an east to west route there and then one on the south part of the city, but the, we have these really long avenues that run north to south in this section. And I think that's going to make the most sense to alleviate some of that traffic is to do the same thing down here. So we will repeat that in a moment because we just hit 90,000, so excellent. So now we can start to drop in monuments. We can buy that last tile. We can buy our international airport and drop that in. What we'll do, I think this makes sense. I'm gonna buy this one last tile. We've got a ton of empty space to build. Let me take a quick fly around though and just see would there be a tile that would make more sense? I, I complained about this earlier, this really hard edge of the map. If we bought this tile, we could kind of feather things off, if you will. Like we could make things a little less populous over there. We'd still have access to shipping over here. But I really like all this, this riverfront property, even though that is sewage running down the river. It's not as appealing, but we could move all those down the ocean outlet now um, and especially if we 
if we buy over there have a nice uh poo waterfall i'm thinking that's the most appealing one this is all very hilly up here the only other one that i might debate is is this one here just because we could kind of create a little diagonal and feather things off a bit but i think i've already kind of got my heart set on this one so let's do that i've got my orientation off i just want to make sure i'm not buying the wrong tile here so we're gonna buy this one we're going to plan to uh, bring this highway over. We've got a highway over here that we can bring over to and connect it up with there. We'll have to bring trains over. So there's still a ton to do. Um, and in the next episode, what we're going to do. So these are these are locked right now. All these monuments are locked. Uh, the reason that they're locked is because we haven't placed all the unique buildings into the map yet. Once you place or I should say, once you unlock all of the unique buildings, then you can place them. And once you place, there's one in every level. So you have these different levels that are requirements for each monument. Once we've placed all these on the map, then we can um, place our uh, monuments. So I think that's what I want to do next. We've got a ton of space to build out, uh, but the monuments are, are particularly useful. So let's pause our game for a moment. The, uh, the Eden Project... Uh, reduces pollution across the city so basically it raises the land value too the uh the space elevator is going to bring in a ton more tourists the fusion power plant is going to answer all of our power needs for quite a long time uh, potentially as long as i build the city out I'm, I'm sure i won't run out of power um medical center covers health care for the city and then the hadron collider covers all the education needs for the city so those are super useful to drop in. They have a, a tremendous upkeep cost. You can see they're uh, 6,000 per week. This one's 16,000 per week. Eight, 14, nine. And then this one is the uh, the Doomsday Vault, um, which you have to do all the uh, disaster-related memorials. I'm probably gonna go through that in a different uh, Let's Play. Uh, this was kind of more focused on vanilla build. Um, but I do wanna do maybe some snowfall, some some natural disasters, one that's focused more on one of the mass transit maps. So there's a ton of stuff to do. And I think what makes sense is to get those monuments in as quick as we can. So we'll go through all of the uh, unique buildings, right? I shouldn't say we'll go through all of them. We'll find spots for all of them. Uh, if you do want kind of a detailed run through my previous series, the how to's where I go through everything, uh, just kind of high high level detail on, on all the different uh, milestones, how to unlock the unique buildings and how to place the monuments on the map. Um, I do have a separate series on that, the how to's, but this is just kind of a, a long let's play, um, no edits, just, you know, going through the whole thing step by step so you can follow along. So uh, that's all for this episode unique buildings in the next one and maybe depending on how fast that goes uh, we'll drop in the monuments too but if not monuments will be the episode after that and then uh, we can kind of go in use all the space that we've purchased and, and just kind of keep building this out uh, at some point though we're going to want to hit the reset switch and start a new city so uh, i had uh uh, mentioned a couple options in the last one. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you want to see some snowfall? Do you want to see some islands? Uh, it's winter here in New England, but it is unseasonably warm. Uh, but if we really wanted to embrace the snow, I'd be down for that. But also, since it gets kind of cold here, um, we could uh, embrace that uh, the island living. Um, and some of those are a lot more challenging to build. There's really small buildable space in the maps. So it would uh, not be too conducive to builds like this. And it might be nice to kind of uh, really branch out and do something different but let me know what you want to see more of in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video likes comments shares are all appreciated and they really help the channel a lot if you're new here subscribe for more great game videos and lots more city skylines while you're at it consider hitting the bell to get notifications because it is very easy for a small channel like mine to get lost in the shuffle but until the next one this is move the mouse signing off